Hello, in the following video we will see nested card items. This is a new feature Shopify is introducing that will let us nest items within the card, creating hierarchies. This will be useful so customers know which items are related to which, improving the user experience along the way. This new feature is available in the card Ajax API, and as of version 2025.10, it is available in the storefront API and check out the AI extensions API. However, throughout this video we will focus on the card Ajax API as this is available right now in the current version of this API. So let's click over here in the documentation to learn more about this feature. And we can see here that nested card lines let you define part inside relationships between items in the card, checkout and the order page. And this enables use cases such as product add-ons. For example, if you have a TV and the TV has an extended warranty that is optional for the customer to add, if the customer decides to add that, then that extended warranty can be a nested line item of the TV. So the customers know that those two items are related in the cart. The same could go for installation plans, protection plans, service fees, and more. Something important to take into consideration when implementing this in your team is that unlike regular card lines, nested card lines are always ordered after their parent line. Meaning that if I add a product and then add a child product to it, that child product will always appear after the parent product, making styling it easier because you can assume that the parent product will always be before it. And a good user experience improvement is that all child products are removed from the card when their parent product is removed. And over here, we can see how this looks like. You can see that this Dune Toad is the parent product and then this monogram is the child product or the nested product. And now that we are seeing this experience here, there is a good moment to mention that this is not to be confused with bundles. We can see over here how bundles look like in checkout and even though they look a bit similar, there are some key differences. For example, you can see here that you can collapse the bundle items while over here you cannot collapse any nested items. Also, all the bundle items are just listed but they do not have a price. Over here, nested items do have their own individual price. And also bundles usually have a discount, but over here this parent child relationship usually do not. Another key difference is how they are created. Bundles need to be created either using an app that is using the bundle mutations, so they are created ahead of time, or with the card transform function if you want to create them dynamically. There are videos in the channel about both, which I will link in the video description if you want to take a look at them. Meanwhile, nested card items are much simpler to create. You just add a new property when you are adding the items to the card, and that's it. We will see that in a moment. Next, let's scroll down over here to see how this works. We can see that the first step is that your app creates the nested relationship by calling the storefront, card Ajax, or checkout UI extension API. It says over here, your app. However, you can just call this from your team, and that will also work, as you can use the card Ajax API for that. Then the second step is that Shopify will then take care and honor it across the following surfaces where applicable. The buyer facing ones are the card in your team. Horizon and Dawn are already supported out of the box, but you can add support to this in any team, as we are going to see later in the video, because the support is pretty easy to add. Then we have in the checkout and thank you pages. You don't have to do anything for this. Shopify is already supporting this there. The order status page and any order related and abandoned checkout emails. In all of these cases, you don't need to do anything. Shopify is already supporting them already. And then the merchant facing ones are in the admin page for the abandoned checkout and the admin page for the order details. So what this means is that if an order is completed with nested card items, you're going to see that in the admin page as well. And let's take a quick look at the limitations because this is also very important to know. The first one is that this doesn't work with bundles at the moment, so you cannot nest add-ons under a bundled parent. Meaning that if a product is a bundle, for example, this the hair and skin bundle, you cannot add nested items to it. Then we have that it doesn't work with draft orders at the moment. It is not immutable, meaning that once you set the parent child relationship between two items, you cannot modify it. You will have to remove the items from the cart and add them again under a different parent. 
there is no there is no multi-level nesting at the moment so you can only have parent-child relationship you cannot have for example a grandchild relationship meaning that if i had a product over here for example let's scroll down over here i cannot nest something on their monomer i can only nest items on their doom toad over here meaning only one level of nesting let's go back to the limitations over here we don't have order editing at the moment so if we try to create a nested card item when editing an order that is not going to be possible at the moment the accelerated checkout buttons are not compatible with this feature at the moment and neither is pos or point of sale and if you have the shopify scripts app installed then this feature will not work at all as you can see over here this item in particular is because the shopify scripts app is already deprecated so in most cases this will not represent an issue for you as it is very unlikely that you still have that installed but nonetheless if you do then this feature will not work until you are able to remove that app from your store and now if we click over here to learn to create these items we will focus on the cart ajax api way so let's scroll a bit down over here and we can see we can ignore this endpoint over here because this is inaccurate at the moment that when you are adding the items to the cart by calling the slash cart slash add.js endpoint you just have to pass the body as usual but pass over here a parent id and this is the variant id of the parent of this product there is also the option of using a parent line key instead of a parent id and that is to support cases where a customer is adding two of the same tvs for example but they only want to add the extended warranty to one of them if we set the parent id to be the variant id then Shopify won't be able to tell which TV has the warranty and which one does not. But if we manage to separate them into separate line items, then we are able to use the parent line key instead to only add it to the front of one. And now let's see all of this in action in the store. And now here I have a store with both Horizon and Dawn. So let's preview Horizon first. And let's open the developer tools as I am going to be making the add to cart API call from here. The endpoint we will be using is this slash cart slash add dot JS, and we are going to be using this items property and passing all the items we want to add to the cart. If I paste this snippet of code over here, you can see that I have here the example body, and I have an ID for a product in this store, and this quantity, another ID, for a product in this store is quantity and setting the parent id to be this one over here so this second item over here will be a child of the first item over here because i am using the parent id property and the same will happen for the third item it has this id but the parent id is this one over here and now i'm just calling the card and the js endpoint this is a post request i need to pass this content type application JSON header, and then the body is a stringified version of this object, which is items and this nesting example point. If I press enter over here, let's refresh the page. And we are going to see in the cart that I have this item over here, which is the parent, and then these two items. It may not seem like it because it is very subtle in this theme, but they are nested together. And you can see this because if I go to this item in the DevTools, we can see that it has the class card items nested line over here. And it is as, the image is a slightly smaller. You can see that this one is 53 by 53 and this one is 32 by 32. And the same happens with this one. But it is more evident when we go to checkout. If I go to checkout over here, you can clearly see now that this item is the parent item and these two items are nested under it. And going back to the theme, if I now add another item to the card, for example, let's add this one here. You are going to see that for other items, there is this separating line over here, but for these items, as they are part of the same group, there is no separation in between them. 
All of this is specific to this theme, of course. I am going to show you later in the video how to add this cart items nested line class to the nested items so you can style them however you want. Another great thing we can do is that if I remove the parent from here, you're going to see that both of these items are going to get removed right away. So let's remove it. And we'll see that the other two items got removed immediately. If I add this set of items again and refresh the page, you're going to see that it doesn't happen if I remove a child product. If I remove this one, only this one will be removed. Its sibling and its parent both stay in the cart. This makes sense if we translate it to the TV example I was mentioning earlier in the video. If this was a TV and this was the extended warranty product, you should be able to remove the extended warranty and still buy the TV. But if you remove the TV from your card, it doesn't make sense to only keep the extended warranty product in your card because it is not, a, it is not attached to any product. So you're not adding a warranty to anything. And now let's complete this purchase to see how this looks like throughout the whole flow. So if I click now on pay now after filling in all of these test details, we are going to see that in the post purchase page or in the thank you page, we still have this. If I refresh this page to see the order details page, you are going to see that this nested hierarchy still is there. And if I go to the Shopify admin, and go to orders. Let's wait for this order to refresh. There to appear here. There it is. And we can see that in the orders page, Shopify is showing this relationship slightly different. In this case, what they are doing is showing for and the name of the parent for every child product. So this product has it here. And this other product also has it here at the bottom. The parent product, however, doesn't have any indication that it has child products. And now let's take a quick look of how this looks like in done. If I preview this theme, you're going to see that if I run this snippet of code again, reverse the page, go to my card, and we have the same idea. Basically, these items over here have this card items nested line class, and then they are styled accordingly. And now let's take a look at the code and see how that is done so you can add it to your own theme if it isn't supported yet. For that, I'll go to Horizon and click on Edit Code. And after the editor finishes loading, the file we are interested in is card products that liquid. Here you can see that it is a very simple conditional. If item dot parent relationship dot parent if is different to null, then this class is added and that's it. This item item is coming from card dot items, so this is just a regular line item. Shopify has added a new property to it. If we go to the documentation for it, we can see that it has now a parent relationship property. And if we click on this, it only has a single property nested within this, which is the parent. And parent is a reference to the parent by an item. However, over here, if we see the code here, it is not using the parent reference, like even though it could get the title of a parent and such, it is not even doing that because I just need to check if it is not null to add this class. And as a refresher, what makes the implementation simpler is this statement over here from the documentation that unlike regular card lines, nested card lines are always ordered after their parent line. So as you can assume that its nested items will always be next to the parent, you can just add some padding left and they will appear nested in the card. You don't need to worry about putting them yourself in the right order because they will always already be in that order. And that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think about the feature? What would you use it for? Would you add anything to it? And with that said, if you found this video helpful, remember to like and subscribe for more Shopify created content and I will see you all in the next one.